name is Jonathan and today I will be showing you how to change your start button text and the hover over text. Uh, you know that hover over text, click here to begin. Anyways, okay, so let's get started right away. First, go to Google and download Resource Hacker. Uh, download that, easy enough to find. And then go back to Google and download Replacer. It's the first one that comes up. Download the stable version. Good, so you've got Resource Hacker and Replacer. Okay, open Resource Hacker. It looks just like this. Good, then minimize it. Then go to your, your, your old start button. Start my computer. your C drive, Windows, and then try look around and find or type into the keyboard explorer.exe. You can see here I have explorer.exe and explorer1.exe. Everything I tell you to do, I will be using Explorer 1 because that's the one my computer uses, but you're going to be using Explorer. Okay? Good. So drag Explorer 1, drag explorer.exe to Resource Hacker. Good. Then expand string table and then expand string table 37 and click 1033. Then you will see the text in line 578 start. Erase that text, leave the quotes there, and type in that blank space whatever you want. Popsicles rule. Popsicles rule. Okay. Then click compile script. Then minimize string table 37 and expand string table 34. Click 1033. In the line 533, in the line 533, you will see click here to begin. Erase that text, leave the quotes, and type whatever you want. Popsicles don't rule. Okay. Compile. Then click file save as, not save, save as. Save it to the desktop as explore, I'm just making sure, explorer.exe. Okay, explorer.exe, save. Good, then you can close Resource Hacker. Now, you will see your C windows up. Minimize it. Now open Replacer. Let me just navigate to my replacer. Replacer. Open replacer. Great. That black box comes up. Okay. So now drag Open C Windows again and drag Explorer.exe into replacer. Then press Enter. And it will say drag the replacement. So drag the one on the desktop into it, the one we edited, and click Enter. It's, it warns you, it says, do you want to replace C Windows Explorer.exe with the one on the desktop? You click, or not click, you type Y for yes, and then press enter. Replacing, and it's done. It, it backs up, replaces, and then it says, reboot to see changes, press any key to quit. You don't actually have to reboot. All you need to do is go start, or log off, log off, and then uh, log back in. But um, because I'm using a screen recorder right now, I can't actually log off, so I'm going to simulate the log off process by doing it my way. Okay, so that's my log off. I've just logged off, and now I'm logging back in. Oh, look at that. Popsicles rule. You hover over it, popsicles don't rule. Isn't that amazing? Jim, I've never seen anything like that. Yes, yes, I know. It's, it's just incredible. So, it's that easy. Thanks for watching the JP Combs video on how to change your start button text. Goodbye.